And now for that scrapbooker extraordinaire. The one who never spends any money on coloring her hair. But just on scrapbook stuff. Terry Rice. <laughs> it's truth. <laughs> okay, today I have a, it's basically a Minte haul from Cherry on Top and I had ordered it two months ago and it finally came in and um, I also had ordered the Rouge Laser Element Cuts because I had gotten that paper the other day. Well, the other day, probably about a month or so ago. And so here's the laser cuts for that. So I'm excited to get to play with that and play with these laser cuts. So that's those. Okay, and now um, I'm gonna show you the chippies first just because I tried to put them with what they go with, but really these can go with anything. And they are called Nature 3. And I think I have maybe Nature 2. And also I have the Winter Time. And I think these are so cute. And I had to get these because they have ice skates. Because I have, you know, the the ice skaters so that's part of the reason why I have to have the ice skates it's like I just need to have more ice skates so and this one here the school one and I love love the school one I just think it is so cute they got the schoolhouse the school bus painting love it so those are going to be fun to play with. And the houses. It's so funny because I kept thinking, did I get the houses? <laughs> I think I must have checked um, a bunch of times to see if I got the houses. And it's like, I love these. I would like to have some in a smaller size too because I think they're cute. Super cute. So that's those. Oh, and if I haven't told you before, it comes with this really nice paper that you could use afterwards. Now I just stuck this on here so I could tell you the name of them. But it comes with that really neat piece of paper. So that's that. Okay, I've got to kind of arrange here because I'm, I'm trying to kind of show you in order. Okay, this is a white Christmas or white Christmas it's called. And this is the top sheet. Well, it's actually sheet number seven, but this has all the embellishments to cut out. And it's like, it's just, to me, it's like this is such a deal to get that in the kit because you have all these things to cut out. And I love it that there's a Volkswagen. So cute. Because I've had three Volkswagens. I think I've told you that before, whenever something has a Volkswagen in it. Okay, and this is paper one. Santa Claus, the reindeer. So super cute. And then here's the wood grain. And I think you can see everything, yeah. Okay, and this one here is the wreath. You know how they will do a real pretty wreath. Got Santa, the reindeer again, he's got his Oh, it's a Dear Santa letter. And I love these kind of Jenga bells. I think those are so cute. They're my favorite to see. And this beautiful stripe, and it's crackled, and then it's got some spattering. That'll be real pretty. And here's Santa again, and is it, what's this one say? This one is actually written backwards. It says Dear Santa. That's pretty silly. Okay, and it's got the farm off in the distance. It's got those cute little jingle bells again. And I'm pretty sure they were in the, yeah, cut aparts too. Those there, I love those. And it's got little birds, love it. Okay, and then we have a lace pattern. 
or it's actually, it's not lace. What is it? It's like cut work, but there's a certain name for it, and I can't think of what it is right offhand. Uh, oh, I know it will come to me later. Okay, and then the window scene. Very pretty. I love the little bird and the little squirrel. Beautiful floral. Oh, look at this one. So pretty. I love the colors. I love the colors. So pretty. Oh, and then a gingham with printing. Really pretty. And the spattering and crackle. Beautiful. And then here's the cut apart. Gorgeous. We had deer in our yard the other day. Okay, and then the other side looks like this. Remember, they were doing the frame, so I like this. Because it's just something different. Okay, and then we're back to the first one. So, with this, I also got the laser cuts. They're calling them die cuts, but you can tell they're cut with a laser. So, it's very similar to what is on the cut apart sheet or the element sheet they call it and I got this and this is the thing that you never get to see it until you get it and this is there's the six by eight so it's got a sweater and a plaid and I'm seeing it for the first time too green polka dot I think they've had this before and they've had the burlap before, and I love having the burlap because it's just a fun paper to use, like for matting and stuff. This is beautiful. So it, it's very similar to the other floral, just with a different color background. Snowflake. Oh, and they've had this before in one of their other Christmas ones. And it reminds me of my little grands wearing tutus. And here's like a um, heavy weave. And this is like this one, or like the the bigger floral, this, this floral, um, just with a different color background. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of a greenish white, a little bit. Can okay, another sweater pattern, and the doors, we've had those before. And this one here is windows with the scene outside, that's real pretty. And then more cut aparts, and they're different from what you get here or on the element sheet. So that's always fun. I love it when they have birds and deer. Little post box. And then you've got this too. Now I'd have a hard time using this when their cut aparts are on the other side, or the elements are on the other side. And then this green sheet, which is real pretty, it's like this one, but now with the green pattern. And now you're back to the same one, and I think there's three of each. Yes. Okay, and the back has a sweater, and it's kind of a pale turquoise. Okay, so that's what I got for that kit. Okay, and I'm going to try to move everything around. Okay, and then I got, I, I bought every collection this time. Sometimes I, there's one I don't buy, but it's like they were all gorgeous. I had to have them all. And, you know, Minty's my, my jam. <laughs> so here's the cut apart sheet. Look at the cute kittens. Oh, and the butterflies are beautiful. I could use a whole page of those butterflies. The cup is beautiful. This is even prettier than I remember it, uh, seeing it online. So beautiful. Look at that tree. It's gorgeous. So, so beautiful. I'd like to have one of these. Greenhouse. Okay, I'm going to try to kind of keep everything in the screen. So if you want to keep looking at one of them. Okay, this is beautiful. It's like, I, 
I even after I ordered it, I would just go in and look at it. <laughs> Isn't it so beautiful? It's like, oh, I just like to go there. Love, love, love. Little lace pattern. Look at this. Oh my gosh. When you just like to be in that room. I love it. Love it, love it. And another one with doilies on it. And here, it's like, I would just like to go visit that place. It's so beautiful. That's why I told my husband, um, sometimes we'd be watching a movie or something and a beautiful scene would come up and I go, I just want to go visit some place that has beautiful scenery. So beautiful. And look at that. Just gorgeous. The cat is so adorable. So pretty. Love it, love it, love it. Crackle. Now this is beautiful too, but that's going to be difficult. That's going to be difficult. It's a good thing you get two. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, look at that floral. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Love it. Oh, and it's got like a doily pattern behind it. I could hardly see it for the beautiful peonies. Okay, and then they've had this before in one of the farm theme papers, I think. And here's the cut apart. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. D did I say beautiful? <laughs> and then these. So I have these if I can't, um, you know, use them the other way. So for this side is so beautiful. Look how pretty that would be. Just put that in your garden. Or, you know, in your garden scrapbooking. Okay, so now we're back to page one. Oh, I wish I could just dream about being there. Okay, and then I bought the laser cuts. At first when they came out with the laser cuts, I wasn't buying them, but... I just love having, sometimes it's like you just don't have enough elements, because sometimes I use a lot. Okay, and here's the six by eight, which you don't get to see until you buy it, because they don't show you samples of this. A gingham, the doilies, a big doily. That would be cute um, as a mat, where you just see the doily through it. Oh, and here you've got the green wood with the Peenies in it. Now, which way does it go? It looks like it goes. I don't know. It's one of those ones I can't tell which way it should. Oh, it has to go this way. No, because there's more of them actually. These ones here look like they go that way. I don't know. I have to work it out the day I use it. And this one here with the crackle and more doilies. Oh, here's painted wood and it looks like it's written on with white letters. That's pretty. Green dot. Stripe. It looks like a ticking almost. Green stripe. A damask. Green writing. I can say he said who was one of the party on the a pink dot. Oh, look at, they got the little kitten sleeping here. More of the butterflies. I'm so glad. Look at this with the fence and the peonies. Oh, it's just beautiful. I bet you can't tell this is my favorite papers. <laughs> More peonies. I'm glad of that because I could, I love using the flowers. Well, you know, I used them for embellishments the other day and that was fun. Okay, and a green, and then the doilies again, and uh, I think we're back to the, where we started, right? Yep. Okay, and then the back will be something different too, and again, there's three of each. Okay, so it's like, it's almost like a flesh tone, or a really soft peach. So that's that one. Okay. And now we have school days. And this is just so adorable. 
It's trying to keep things from falling at me. I need a bigger table. <laughs> I really wanted a nine foot kitchen table, but it wouldn't fit in here. <laughs> so this is school days. And so here's all the elements. And I love this. And they look like twins, unlike, unlike my twins who look totally different. <laughs> So cute. The old time school bell. So cute, so cute. And then of course there's flowers. Because every set has to have flowers. So adorable. I like the pencil thing, that's really cute. Okay, and then there's a the school room. Isn't this just adorable? It's a be cute, just like hanging in a kid's room. It's adorable. And then numbers on red. And here's another blackboard and all the things that you use in school. So cute. Oh, and this is like a bingo card that says learn. Glue, scissors, fun stuff. And then a graph. Isn't this cute? I like the brick wall too. So cute. So that's like the teacher's desk. And now you have letters on a black background. And here's a school hall. That's fun. And then a blackboard. And then all these little elements. Now, hopefully I have enough elements. I don't have to cut those out because I look at them and I just want to do that. <laughs> and then you have, wow, now that's a big paper. <laughs> Try writing on that it is huge. What is my ruler here? Yeah, what size are those lines? Just have to know. They're half an inch. Those are some big lines. Okay, and then these. They are adorable little collections right there. Those would be so fun to fussy cut. Sometimes I don't cut these until like the end. You know, when I'm desperate for cut aparts or for elements again. So cute, so cute. These are cute. Oh, that's kind of the size I like to write in. And then we're back to the beginning. And then, um, of course, I bought the laser cuts. They're fun. Oh, and I, did I notice that here? No. And the laser cuts, they have like if they shaved your, if you shave your pencil or sharpen your pencil, it's got the little shaving there, which is so funny. So adorable. Kind of do that. Cute. So here's the six by eight. It's got the pencils, another graph. Oh, now this is on a turquoise, and they got the lockers in here. Oh, did, you know what? I didn't show you this, because I bought the extra element sheet for this. So this is what the element sheet has, the lockers. And, you know, if there's something that I have to have extra of, I'll just, you know, decide where I want to cut, because I probably won't use a whole sheet of lockers. But I thought they would be really cute. So I forgot I had those. Until I seen this, I didn't know there was lockers in here. So that's fun. So I'll have three of these little sheets of lockers. Another grid. More of these little cut apart. Well, I call I look at them and I think cut aparts, but it's just little elements. More letters. Writing. Another line paper. These little things, now these look more grown up. It's got the computer. It looks like more grown up things than, than this.
Oh, look at those. That's fun. And these are bigger. Are they bigger than these? Nope, they're the same size as those ones. Another graph paper. Oh, this is it's so thick sometimes I can't tell. And this looks like the more grown-up pattern here. And look at that. That is cute. A lot of artist things there. Oh, and chemistry. Really cute. Highlighter. Yellow paper. More florals. Paper clips. Pencils again. So we're back to the same thing again. Fun, fun, fun. Love it. Okay, I saved my favorite collection for last. And I'll tell you, uh, if it's as beautiful as it is online, I could weep. <laughs> okay, the antique shop. It's so, look at those colors. I just love it. Look at the books. I mean, the colors are just spectacular. I love it. I love all the embellishments. So, so pretty. The trunk. Love it, love it, love it. Here's the antique shop. So pretty. I used to go to antique shops all the time. Don't do it very much anymore because I got too much stuff. A damask. A shelf in the antique shop and I love the little corsets on the little dress forms so pretty so pretty a really fun wood another spot in the antique shop gorgeous music sheet a little cabinet at the antique shop and then this like a bunch of papers and look at this I mean the colors are spectacular and it looks like it's on an old damask wallpaper that is just gorgeous. Love it. Don't you just want to see a whole screen of it? <laughs> Love it. Oh, my camera turned off. Okay, and this is the other side of the floral. It's another damask. And the cut apart sheets. Sheet, the cut aparts. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. This has been my favorite group of papers ever. I mean, I really loved, I really love Grandma's Attic. Or is it called a Grandma? I think it's called a Grandma's Attic. Okay, so I got the laser cuts again. And I think they're the same as what's on the sheet. And then here's the six by eight. Got a cracked wall. These colors were in, these really dark saturated colors were really in when I was working at Ethan Allen. It's pretty damask and then the old ledger. And that floral again. Is that exactly like the other floral? Well, it probably isn't, no. This has a dark background. Oh, love it, love it, love it. And then a lace pattern, but it looks like a damask, but it looks like a lace. Oh, and here's lace on damask. And this one looks like a an old vintage velvet. Some crackled paint. This looks like an old wallpaper that's been peeling. Another one that looks like old wallpaper, old ledger paper. Another of that floral, and this time it's on kind of that greenish gold color. And then these are other 
um, elements that aren't in the on this element sheet so that's fun look at the old cameras love it love it love the old keys I have a collection of keys for my grandma and more of these ledger papers or old documents and things more of the florals oh my gosh I don't even know what to cut apart first an old wood which will never be um, a page because I'll be using the other side and the damask again so I'm back to where I started right yep and then the back is like an old weathered oh did I look at the very back of the school paper I don't think so so it's like an orangish red okay so Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Love it, love it. That'll probably be the first thing I'll be cutting. Okay, and then I bought, they came out with a bunch of new books and um, they had, like there was probably twice as many as what I got here. But um, I bought the two of the Christmas books. This is book one. Old wood, candles. Now I just um, am seeing making those embellishments. I had so much fun doing those. I gotta come up with something different though because I need to just use some of them now. So pretty, the little wreaths. Christmas trees. The green, more green. Santas. Oh, this looks like a vintage red where it's almost like an orangish color. So see it, the color compared to this, it's kind of, it looks like faded red. The bells, and then kind of a soft coral, poinsettias, and now we're back to the front page, and in the back is, is that the same as the front? Okay, so on these one, well this one, it's the same wood on both sides. So that's book one, Christmas book one. Here's Christmas book two. And this has, it looks like old paper, old fabric. And this has like doors and windows in it. And I went through um, Chicago one time and just kept taking pictures of windows because they were so interesting. So, but I wasn't there at Christmas. So they got the old paper here, more windows. It'd be fun just to go um, take pictures of windows at Christmas time. Oh, there's my. I gotta turn that off. I'll be right back. I'm still here. I'm just turning off everything. I got my. Or we're having lunch and dinner together today, or the same meal. So, more Christmas scenes and doors and windows and the folded paper or folded fabric. So pretty. Love it, love it. Oh, look at this. It's like an old street. This, the way the street looks, it looks like when we were um, in Florida. What was the town that we were in? I can't think of what town it was in. Seaside, maybe? I wonder if it looks like that at Christmas. And are we back to where we started? Yep, beautiful. And let's see if this back paper, nope. So we got this um, pink and then turquoise here. Very, very pretty. Okay, and then I got the autumn book one. So I don't know if there was an autumn book two. They had like so many different books. So I just had to uh, kind of narrow it down. And this must have fell out. Okay. So there's windows here, and then we have pumpkins and floral arrangements. And then a beautiful gate. Look at that. We have butterflies. I've seen a butterfly like this just flying through my garden today. A Reese. And then it looks like watercolor leaves. That's real pretty. And this here. Oh, that's pretty. It looks like hydrangeas, dried hydrangeas, acorns, 
We had acorns um, like falling off the trees already because of trees in distress, our neighbors. More tree or more trees, more windows and pumpkins. Another little scene of leaves. Really pretty. Oh, I like the purple added to that. That's a fun addition to a fall color. Oh, that's pretty with the jars. Look at these. They're adorable. Oh, look at the little fox. The animals. Oh, and the pie is so pretty. And then we might be back at the beginning. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So the front looks like two. And this book got bent. Oh, and then like when you go to the pumpkin patch and they have all the little things there. And was it like this on the other side? No, so this is different too. Oh, those were like that, okay. Huh. Now I wanna see it's on the other side. Okay, it's those little characters. Okay, so cute. So pretty. Okay. And this one here is Floral Book 8. White roses, beautiful. Pink ticking. White wood, that's beautiful. More white flowers. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. Another shade of white wood. These look like the the peonies. And I like a pink wood. These sunflowers are gorgeous. I could use those on Skylar's. More wood. Look at these flowers. Love, love, love. So pretty. All the different woods. Beautiful. And now we're back to where we were. Now I gotta see what the back is. Okay, another wood and then the pink ticking. So they had that at the front, right? Pink ticking, yep. All right. Beautiful. Okay, and this is Flora Book 10, but it's Wreath Edition. Oh, the, the other one is called Bouquet Edition. I always wanna say banquet every time I see the word. <laughs> gotta keep myself from saying it. Okay, a paler stripe. And then look at the, these are like white peonies, it looks like. Beautiful. I love these colors. Isn't that beautiful? More woods. Now I'll get to use like the little piece of wood that's back there. <laughs> Another beautiful pink wood. Oh, I love these colors. So pretty. I love, I love peach and purple together. I think they're like the perfect complement to each other. Yellow wood. This is more colorful here. This would be really pretty in an Easter layout. And then we have some Christmas. Reese, how pretty is that with the holly? And is this where we started? I think this is where we started. Let's see, I have to look. I don't want to miss anything. And then we have the, I think this looks darker. Yeah, it's a little darker than this. All right, so that's it. Super, super fun. I love these. I hope you enjoyed seeing them all because I know it was a lot. But thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.